right guys we just got out of church it's father's day so i'm going to take you guys with me i'm going to spend that day is there something in the front let me no. can i turn this way yes so yeah father's day it's so windy in the neck of my woods like guys it is windy that i felt like the wind was about to take me away <laughs> thank god i weigh more than 100 pounds or else i'll be across the street but anywho so we are gonna stop at starbucks and then i go back home uh, maybe go yeah i think we're going out to eat later on in the evening not we're not doing brunch today we'll have breakfast at home or brunch at home I don't know why he wants to make brunch. It's Father's Day. He shouldn't be doing anything. But no, mm. he wants to. So, but we don't even know where we're going to eat because he's being a little difficult. Talk about oh, I don't want to go nowhere. And yeah. my husband does that. Yeah. <laughs> and then if you don't take him by, you'll be like, I can't believe you already do this. Yeah. But we know how he operates. So then we, we got to go visit. House. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we do that we gotta go visit my daughter and share some champagne with her for father's day because that's what she would have done she'll be like mom any shams before we go eat so that's what we're going to on our way to starbucks ready you want ac on mm -hmm. no no okay. oh, oh yeah no it's yeah. okay if you know, you I, thought know. You, I thought you were asking like because i was uh, get our own gas but um, I just hate it it's not my thing it's, this is my husband's and Remy's job why do you let my jeep get so low I don't understand but anywho so I will take you guys with me when we go get our Starbucks what we getting today I left the house in a hurry that I didn't even put jewelry on that is like not me at all so, all right guys the Starbucks is because then I don't want to start having a heart attack. Let's just get gas. Sorry. See, even Remy don't like pumping gas. See, the gas just came on. Mm -hmm. Look at that. The light just says, yes, you need gas. I didn't have to even ask you. The car told you. Mm -hmm. I don't like driving my car on crowd. Not happening. All right, we're here. Mm -hmm. I'm in my bag. Let me get my card. Yeah. See, the gas, the gas like came mm -hmm. on. Even though I'm still like, I still have enough to go to the city and back, but still. Let's see, let's see. All right, guys, let's get some gas and we will continue this vlog. I need to find my card. All right, so I'm sitting here at the gas station while Mr. Remy goes and get gas. He didn't even want to go get gas. He goes like, don't we have enough? <laughs> we do have enough gas, but when my car tells me I need gas, I'm going to get some gas. It's not my favorite place to be. You know what I don't like? Two places I don't like to be. If you really, really want to punish me, send me to the grocery store went to the gas station I hate grocery shopping 
I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. I, I just can't stand walking around in aisles and grabbing stuff and it just does something to me. I get impatient, but that's my husband's favorite thing to do. He loves grocery shopping. I'll be like, can you just go and leave me behind? I don't even care if you sell. The only time I like to shop is when I go to these little stores, like maybe the African market or the Caribbean market. I walk in there, I know exactly what aisle and what I'm what I need. So I grab my stuff, I put it in a basket, I pay, and I'm out. But if I have to go to a major grocery store and I have to walk around, why is there so many people? Let me make sure my song is good. If I have to walk around and push the, the shopping cart, it's like, ah, oh, no, I hate it. Just like right now, I'm sitting at a gas station, impatient as hell. I hope you guys are having a good Sunday. Don't mind me talking mess. I like to rant. I like to talk. I've become a talkative lately. It's like talky, talky, talky. It's all I do is talk. But um, church was good. Oh, shush. He scared the hell out of me. Sorry, I didn't know you were recording. That's okay. What you did? Your card. Oh, you almost gave me a heart attack, boy. I almost scared it. Living daylights. I don't know why. Let me open it so my gas tank can open. And anyway, I was busy talking, and then he come knocking at the door. I was like, oh, I get scared easily. I don't know why. The older I get, my nerves are shot. It's like my age is beginning to tell. Thought I was gonna be young forever. News flash. Nope. So. Something else I realized today, my sight is getting a little bit, like, I can't see. I mean, not that I can't see. I don't see too well from a distance, but up close, I can. So I think I need to start eating some carrots. Because uh, I wear glasses for UV protection all the time. But leave it to my husband. Oh, are you joining that group? I'm like, what group is that? <laughs> don't put me in your basket. But that old age is coming through. I was like, no, don't want to hear it. I'm in denial. But anywho, I'm gonna go get coffee as I rant and talk mess. I don't know where we're gonna. Please, I hope he don't say he wanna go eat at Yard House today because I am so not wanting to go to that place. I'm over it. Now, if my daughter was here. We'll be going to Beverly Hills because that's her jam, which is what we tell we're going to do to honor her. You know, we're going to go to an upscale restaurant, but he did not make any, we did not make any reservations. So I guess we'll just eat locally or we can go to, not locked, Remy. Use your hand that God gave you. Slam it. There you go. It's a chip, not a car. I didn't want to interrupt your video. I was trying to I'm sure they'll software. survive. You can't close my jeep softly. You'll be like, oh, what kind of nonsense is that? It's not one of those. Not a Tesla. Mm -hmm. It's a jeep. It needs manpower. Mm -hmm. All right, so. Where, where am I going this way? Where are we going? We're going Starbucks. to Starbucks. I'm like, oh, OK, Kia. Come on. That's a blind spot. Mm -hmm. You always got to watch to see who's coming through. So anyway, guys, we'll resume this when we get to Starbucks. Okay. Right. Oh, this guy act like he's scared to go through the drive-through. We are Starbucks, guys. He keeps doing two two miles an hour. Is that even a man or a woman? I think it's, I thought it saw a woman. Was it a woman? I don't know. I'm not too sure. Uh, I drive that car. Why <laughs> the car drive you? What you getting? Good question. What am I getting? I'm getting busy rambling. I'm getting one of my signature fraps. A frappuccino? Yeah. Maybe a cold brew. I'm getting uh Maybe I get a it? cold brew. It's not there. Oh, oh come on. Don't tell me they don't have it. 
I'm gonna get no complicated oh, wait, no, right drink. Here. No, I got it. I got okay, it. Like, no, it's <laughs> you know this particular Starbucks. They, they barely have anything. Running, yeah, I was running out of stuff. Yeah. I'm gonna stop boycotting. I'm going to the other one. Like not for the crap. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it's my guy's Xavier Girl, there today. Move? What is this lady doing? For God's sake, she keeps stopping. Move on. Alright. Let's see if it's Xavier. Excuse me, I can't hear you. Oh. Hello? Yes. Yeah. I can hear her. She didn't even speak up. Um, let me get a tall Dick of Americano hot with two splendor and half and half. What do you want? A uh, chai cream frappuccino. Brandy? Yeah. And a grande chai cream, cream frappuccino. frappuccino. Okay. And a dolce um, cinnamon cold brew. And you Grande. That's that's it. Alright, I will have that out the window. Okay, thank you. Can I have my wallet back there, Linda? Yeah, she was giving me radio uh, bedside voice. Thank you for coming, Starbucks. How can I help you? It's like, girl, I'm way over here. Speak up a little bit. Some of us are old. No. Oh, you're, you're your little one. <laughs> and that big old Louis. Mm -hmm. Can you find it? I just dropped it. Maybe that's somewhere. her normal voice. Though. That is not. Look, her normal voice came out when I say, hey, speak up a little bit. That voice came out, didn't it? She was trying to be cute. Thank you for coming. No, she was that. being polite. How is that rude to speak up? Well, I mean, I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. think <laughs> to speak up is being rude. To speak with, to yourself is being rude because I cannot hear you. Yeah. I'm in my car. You over there. Thank you, Will. Can stop by taking a help you? My girl, no. Give me a voice. They put you on the drive through for a reason. Anywho, guys, don't mind me. My guy's not there today. And there she is. She, that, sounds, that looks like her voice. <laughs> oh, what was that? Why are you making a face? Look at that. Now you're running away. I'm making away. no face. Don't give me that look now. Three-piece, two-piece combo. Mine is a three. I'll take it with fries. Wop, 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 wop. I'll take it with fries. Mm -hmm. Some ketchup. Get some three-piece. Exactly. I'll make it a meal. Today. Huh? I'll make it a meal. <laughs> okay, whatever, child. Oh, my guy in here today. What's the dealio? Whatever happened to the guy with the hat? Oh, he was here the other day. Me and your dad came here. Oh, did you say yeah, hi? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I was sitting on this other side. Mm. He saw your dad. If I said to myself, that he don't look familiar, because <laughs> he had a strange look. Like who's that man? I know. And then he saw you. And then he saw me, and then he was like, "Hi," because you know he knows my my jeep. Yeah. Okay. You're welcome. I like this shirt. Turquoise. Hmm? I like this shirt. If you get another one, oh, I thank do. you. <laughs> Because look like after you wash it a couple yeah. of times, you're going to need another one. That's what happens with cotton. So many what? Uh, you're in a white star <laughs> I know, hardly ever do they have a... Keep person. I mean, rarely. I think I see... I think color. I remember seeing like The only one people of black color I see here <laughs> is maybe a Spanish person. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I saw a black dude one the other day. Yeah. Yeah. It was a tall black dude. When was that? When I was when I went inside. Oh, when you went inside on one yeah. time. Oh, mm -hmm. Let me do that shit. It's Juneteenth, isn't it? Today is Juneteenth. We didn't go to that is place. It? Yes, today. No, yes, tomorrow. I, oh, it's tomorrow. Wait, but is the it celebration today? is today. Wait, People on, say Happy on. Juneteenth. Hold on, hold on. It's June eighteenth. But I think that celebration was. Was on the 19th. No, it's tomorrow. It's tomorrow? Yeah. So why was Channel 5 keep saying happy Juneteenth? 
maybe they're doing it early <laughs> oh guess what and then your dad tried to argue with me today what juneteenth was all about i had to school him oh i said he talked about oh that's when they kill all the black people what? i was like no what? <laughs> and he want to argue with me so what you mean i know i said no you don't know this is when the, the last the people in the slaves in texas did not know that they were liberated they yeah, that's when they were declared out. free. Yeah, that's when they were declared free. They, all this time, they thought they were still slaves. Yeah. I'm like, boy, I wasn't even born in this country. Oh. And I know yep. better than you do. Sorry. Yeah. All right. This is the pick up Americano. Put it in the back. Is there any stoppers? Here's the chai wrap. Yes, your chai wrap. I can ask her. Do you have any stoppers? A stopper, yeah. Yeah. Can I get a straw for this one? For the uh, brew? I no, no, I want a straw. Oh, a straw. Yeah. Yeah, yeah stop. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so. Look at all that whipped cream. That was funny. I got a cocoa. Voila. And then Remy. Remy, that people behind me can survive. They, they just, they'll, be, they'll do just fine. And then Remy got. Chai cream frappuccino. Chai cream frap. There we go. Yum, yum. And Hobby got a decaf Americano hot. That's his drink because he cannot drink regular coffee. Oh, yeah, that's so good. He can only, yes, my Hobby tried to tell me this morning what Juneteenth was about. And he gave me the look like I was just some dumb dumb. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, boy, I had to get out of my bed. I said, What are you talking about? Happen? No, that same person still no, here. No, that's not it, her. This one has stuff in the back. That lady oh. did not have stuff back in her car. But yeah, that was wild. He had to Google it. And then after he Googled it, he felt so. He goes, like, I told you it was about the slaves. I was like, oh, okay. Whatever. He really said that's when all the black people yes, were he said, killed. I'm like, where did he those, get that from? He said, that's where they killed those black. That's when they killed and massacred all those black people. I said, well, that was not Juneteenth. I know what he's talking about. Mm. But it was in the Juneteenth. Mm -hmm. I had to laugh. I said, you don't even know nothing about your own history. What a shame. But anyhow. How was that? Whoa. There's no syrup on my cold brew. What in heaven's name? Or well, maybe I need to turn twist it. Okay. Look at that. All right. What are you running for? Oh my god, my cold brew is nasty. Mm -hmm. This girl did not put no syrup on my my dolce caramel. Where's the caramel? Where is the caramel? It tastes like freaking unsweetened coffee. As hell. Okay, put no syrup here. I should make a UA. Okay, I'm not drinking that. When we leave the house, I'm taking it right back. I would pull a Beverly. You know, Beverly kept um, Cam um, and what's the son's name? Cameron's. Cameron. You got yeah, coffee. Ribbon the next day, she took it back. Yeah. <laughs> Because like, he didn't drink it. Yeah, he didn't drink it, but she said that's because he had coffee in it. Oh. Like, uh, he should have said the one without coffee. Just like my, my, this is so weird. A cold brew with no syrup? What did it happen to him? Uh -uh. I don't stare. I can't stare no more. Yeah. It's got to go back. Oh, Edith, we have syrup at home. I can put my yeah, own syrup. Yeah, you still remember you have your bottles? Yes, I, I'm gonna go home and put my own syrup. Just make sure I don't put your much. Yeah. Is that pecan? Don't I have one? Is it pecan? Yeah. What's, can I have a vanilla one? Oh, that was yours. Yeah, but I don't like that one. You don't like your vanilla syrup? No. <laughs>
pay me back because I said something about her voice. She said, watch me give you this bitter coffee. <laughs> this cold brew, that's what you get. Oh, but I should have tasted it right when I was there before I pulled out. Now Remy hates it when I do that. When I stand in, when I'm in the line and I'm examining myself, he's worried about the people behind me. I'll be like, no. Yes, you do. You look around to see if somebody's behind me. Like, what are they gonna do? Come out and beat me up and say, "Move, lady." No. They don't know what I'm ordering. They don't know if my order is correct. Yeah, you know that's what you do. I'm like, stop worrying about people behind you. Worry about the people in front of you. No. Yeah. Not. What do you mean, no? That's I mean, I don't look behind. <laughs> no, you kidding? That's what you do. You're always worried about the people behind you. God did not give you ice in your back, so. Your eyes are in front, so look ahead. Well, but technically though, you can feel the energy from the back of your head, so technically you can have eyes in the back of your head because you can feel energy. Uh, who said that? Myself. In Fosha's voice. Who said that? I did. Oh, okay, <laughs> that's your own logic. Mm -hmm. All right, we're home, guys. Let me go fix my coffee because um, my caramel brew with no syrup. <sighs> Peter. All right, see you all later. Until next time, peace. This is what I'm going to skinny syrup, caramel pecan, zero calories, zero sugar. But this thing is super sweet, so I don't know what why it's called zero sugar. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix it with this. Cool. All right, guys. Oof. Okay, guys, we are home. So you guys see me put some skinny caramel syrup in this drink because Starbucks really did not give me any kind of syrup. I should have tasted my drink before driving out or pulling out of there. But now I think I put too much syrup. <laughs> it's zero sugar, so it's okay. I'm oh, gonna make it work. Guys, it is so windy. I had to paint this in the back because this hair was all over the place looked like who did what to like somebody put me in a electric something and my hair was just everywhere but anyway guys we're home it's father's day happy father's day to all the men that are watching if you're a dad happy father's day if you're a single mother happy mother father's day how should we call that single mothers that raise their kids you guys are not men, so it's. I, I don't want to say Father's Day. We should call it Fam Mom. <laughs> happy Fam Mom Day. Yes. Oh, happy Mom Father's Day. That's how we're going to say it. So kudos to you guys. I mean, every day should be Father's Day and Mother's Day. Especially Mother's Day. That's what, that's, that's just my thing. I don't know why we need one day to, to be thankful to our parents. Why? Why? We should be thankful every day. Every day should be dedicated to parents. As long as we have life in us, even if there's no life in us, we still should be celebrated. It shouldn't pick one day. Who came up with this idea? Who is the Einstein? But anywho, that's that. So guys, it's a Sunday vlog. It's a short Sunday vlog. It's Father's Day. We just came back from church. You guys saw my shenanigans. But um, after I do this little show and tell, I'm going to change. I'm going to go visit. We're going to go do a little celebration with my daughter. We're going to go visit her. And then from there, we're going to go eat something. So I don't know. I won't call this. Well, brunch ends at 3. So I'll call this a, a brunch because we were going to do dinner, but he says no, dinner will be too packed, which is true. So let's do brunch. It's a simple man. So that's what we're going to do. Unfortunately, we we're not able to make it to Beverly Hills. to one of those expensive restaurants. I should have made a reservation, but I was not feeling it. Don't know why. But then again, he would have no. My husband would have like, no, we ain't doing that, cause he's like, it's food. Why do I need to drop almost a thousand dollars for food? <laughs> you know, which I kind of concur, but you know, we could be cheapies around here. All right.
The only person that was in Chip, Chip, uh, Chippy was my daughter. And she did not care dropping a whole lot of money just to eat. I used to like, girl, can I get that cash? But, you know, she lived. She lived a good life. So this is not what this is about. It's a Father's Day vlog. Happy note. No, um... Oh, oh. My hands are so, so... My hands are so bad today. It's like, what, huh? I forgot I left the house in a hurry and I forgot to put some bracelets on which is so unlike me let's put a little bit of let's put a little bit of this oh, oh no sorry guys I'm trying to make myself. I was gonna wear this, but that's orange. I thought I had that in pink. Anyway, let's wear some noisy bangles. So now, nah, voila, we're good. But anyway, guys, so I left the house in a hot mess. Like hurry, hurry, hurry. <laughs> Even one of one of the young pastors that sit in front of the church as we pulled up, she go like, "Remy and your mom, you guys are late." <laughs> I'm like, "Yeah, we are." But, I mean, he meant well. It was funny. He's like, I'm just kidding. I was like, no, it's all good. Call us out. So, next time, we'll, we'll know better. Not that we don't know any better. But I'm glad he called us out. But you all are late. But, anyway, as long as we were able to catch the sermon, that was good for me. Because, lately, church has been doing something to my, my mindset. You know, I'll be sitting in church listening to the gospel. Then I start thinking about... My daughter, I mean, she wasn't so much of a church goer. She only came to church like on Easter Sundays once a year. But um, I was just sitting there thinking how I used to save a seat for her and she would be so late and I'd be like, girl, church is almost over. But she made it and now she's in heaven. All right, so enough of that. Enough of that. I want to thank everybody that watched my haul yesterday at Fabulous J2 Life Sale. I want to thank everybody that have already bought some I some items, especially um, so far. I think it's Deanna Smith I had bought some few pieces, and I got questions for other people, so I still need to reply, you guys. Thank you guys for your support. Like I say, it's going to be sometime in July, probably July ending before I come live to you guys. I'm hoping I'll be strong then because if I'm not, I might have to postpone it some more. But, you know, we, we are still communicating, guys. We're still, you know, doing this. So today is Sunday. It's day for a handbag show and tell. So the first bag I want to show you is a luxury bag. I already opened it. You'll be like, God, girl, not another Fendi. Yes, another Fendi. And the reason being is, I do, I had a Sunshine Fendi, but then I sold it to someone. And then I started having regrets like, oh God, I want that bag back. So that's exactly what I got. Fendi Sunshine. Voila. Nice. This is the one with the, uh, with the Fendi markings on there. Where it says Fendi right there. Yes. That's the crossbody. One thing about this Sunshine is it's like Voila, one big old empty bag. I think this is a 35, I think, yeah. So let's see, let's put this on there. Yes, I had to get it back. I'm like, I was looking at my closet when my family was here, you know, and then I realized, I'm like, jeez. I don't have a Fendi Sunshine anymore. 
I don't want this thing hitting me in my face, all that metal. So I figured, time to get one. Yeah. I would never carry this. But if I find my, I mean, use the handle. But if I find myself in a pickle, I would do just that. I don't know if I put this correctly, but there we are. Gorgeous. Beautiful. I'm trying to move it over here. Voila. That is it. Where is the dust bag? So that's an addition to this closet of mine. My closet has been emptied. And I figured time to start replenishing. All right. So this is the same size as the DK and Y. You see that luxury and then designer i still love these bags guys this these bags to me are like ah. so now we have this sunshine it's probably i'm probably gonna baby it i'm not gonna carry it as much as i will carry my dk and white tote if i'm going shopping h and m marshall cj max wherever i will carry this hardly ever you're gonna see me carry this but i know it's there I'll probably only carry it if I feel like maybe I'm going to like the Topinga Mall, Rodeo Drive. Even Rodeo Drive, I might not because I don't want to be targeted because, you know, people are crazy these days. So, I don't know. Just depends. Maybe where I'm going to eat. It's not a bag to go eat, though, because it's big. This totes, or maybe if I'm traveling, which don't know when that will be. I don't know. And I wanted my sunshine back and I got it. So voila, the light is reflecting, it's making it look shiny, but it's really not. I don't know if you can see it from here. We have the tortoise shell. Beautiful. Yes, so that's my luxury for for the month of June. Guys, I used to acquire all these beautiful bags. With the hope that one day my daughter will inherit everything. But now that she's no longer, it's going to be up to Remy to Remy's wife or girlfriend or whoever. Oh my, I have nieces. Okay. Now nah, they can do whatever they want to do with all this mess. All right. So that's. That's the one show and tell. The other show and tell is a, it's still a luxury, but it's an affordable luxury. Because if you go to Poshmark and you type luxury bags, Bagley Mishka will pop up. A lot of people don't think Bagley Mishka is, is luxury. So Bagley Mishka is luxury, but it made affordable handbags and they copy a whole lot of luxury brands. So, the next one, the other one that I got, actually I was gonna wear it with this dress I got from H&M, but then when I looked at it, I'm like, oh no, it doesn't go. You guys, I have this bag in black in the boutique, in the garage, but I was able to get this hot pink, handheld, beautiful. For a mini day, I thought I could wear it together, but this is more of a purple. This is hot pink by Glimishka. Suggested retail is a hundred and forty, hundred and forty nine dollars. It's what Bagley Mishka. If you go online, that's what they want for this bag. It's more like a a pebble leather. And the description on here is the color is hot pink. And the description is crossbody with with handle. So this is a crossbody bag, which the strap is in here and with a top handle. So you can wear it either way. If you know these bags, I love the fact that the inside of this is pink. Voila. 
nice beautiful bag here's a crossbody so sometimes you know we get these crossbody straps but we don't never use them especially me but it depends if i'm going maybe thrifting where i need both of my hands to be looking for items and try to try an item in the mirror then the crossbody comes to play but if i was just going out to eat i would do a handheld beautiful chrome bagley mishka bm gorgeous top handle and then i don't know how often i'm gonna keep showing you these bags but i'm in love with bagley mishka bags only because <laughs> And then you can put your phone here these bags are the bags that you don't have to pay an arm and a leg but you could still look chic because they are not it's not a slouch it's a designer brand bagley mishka is a it's a high-end luxury brand even though they are bags these particular bags are the affordable line you know they're coming for everybody they were like Phew. We could just make something where everybody can carry. So there's that. Let's just say you want your hands free and you're doing some things. You got a crossbody. The only thing about this is the top handle is not removable. I wish it was. Then, you know, you can just do plain, just like the Tahari one was. But this one stays, which is okay. So I love this hot pink. And then I have the black one downstairs. So, yeah. I brought this upstairs because the hot pink I have, I have a Chanel hot pink, but it's not quite the same. No, it's not at all. So, they're both hot pink. Yeah, so I don't fall. But the Bagley Mishka hot pink is more richer as compared to the Chanel lambskin. They both are hot pink. They both are fuchsia. But this is so much of a deep, deep fuchsia. And this is just a fuchsia, a hot pink. Do you want to see the difference? So that's why I picked this because in my head, I'm like, mm, I don't have this color bag. I mean... And especially if I'm wearing, if I'm just trying to be casual, I'm not gonna, I mean, I don't know. I see people wearing their Chanel bags, very casual and stuff. I mean, if you are that girl and you work so hard in order to buy your Chanel, you ain't gonna carry it any kind of way. But I've seen people carry their Chanel bags. I've seen Chanel bags at the grocery stores. I've shown Chanel bags at the 99 cent store. I'm like, okay, if you're shopping at the 99 cent store with a Chanel bag, I mean, what, you, what, what are you doing? Is that why you can afford a Chanel bag because you're shopping at the 99 cent store? That's a good one. But see, this is me. I will carry this kind of bag to the grocery store, to the Dollar Tree, to the thrift store. I'm not gonna take a Chanel bag to go thrifting. Make it make sense. No. Chanel has to be handled with class. Chanel, I know people keep saying Chanel. It's C H, not S H. It's not Chanel. It's Chanel. Chanel. I mean, I've, I must say, I've been a victim of saying Chanel because that's what. The massive says Chanel, Chanel, but it's Chanel, people. Chanel. It's not a C. It's not a S H. It's not a she. It's a Sha. Coco Chanel, not Coco Chanel. But <laughs> don't come for me. But that's I worked for Chanel for a long time, and we were told to pronounce it as Chanel, not Chanel. But we get caught up with the massive, and we say, Oh, Chanel this, Oh, Chanel that. It's Chanel, people. Chanel. But uh, just a little FYI, I know it's hard 
to say Chanel sometimes because I've said Chanel before so many a times. And I look at my video, I say, did I say Chanel? Yes, I did. Well, it's Chanel. And, and those people that name themselves as Ch Chanel, that's spelling with a with an S. Then your name will be Chanel. But if you're spelling it with a C H A N E L, your name is Chanel. Chanel. It's like channel. Chanel. Not she. It's not a she. It's a sha. <laughs> Alright, guys. So don't mind my stupidity. But anyway, guys, so yes, this is my new collection. And I have one more. Like I say, if I see something I like, I buy it twice. I have it in black and I have it in pink. So, two black, two pink. If you like it, how about your girl? We know what we sell by the Mishka for. We don't break the bank here. But anyway, that's mine. Just wanted to show you. I've told you guys anything I show you up here. Or if I do a video in my room or, you know, I'm showing you something. It's really for me. But, um. If I take it to the boutique, it's for you all to grab. But if I do something up here and I say I have more than one, so you're welcome to grab it. I was going to show it yesterday. That's why I was telling you guys I forgot something up here. It was that bag. I was going to show you the one downstairs, but I forgot. So, voila. I'm showing you today. I love it. It's easy breezy. So, we're going out to eat. I'm going to go... Being that I'm going to the cemetery, I'm going to go change my clothes and be a whole lot comfortable. And then we can go out and I don't even know where we're going. Maybe La Papillon, which is the butterfly in French. Butterfly. I don't know if that's where he wants to eat. He better not say Yard House because I am so <laughs> over Yard House. There are other places we can eat, maybe in this area, but... He's so picky. He, when he finds something he likes, that's where he wants to stick with. He hates to go to luxury restaurants because he said he feels like he's never getting his money's worth. <laughs> and anyway, guys, so this is it. I am H&M all today. My little dress is from H&M. I think, I don't know if I showed you guys. I was going to do an H&M haul, but... I bought this dress when my niece was here. I tried to make her buy it and she said, oh, it's too short, but it really isn't. And then I'm doing this oversized blazer too. It's from H&M. So being that I wear a lot of black, this is my black. Like I said, when I go to church, I don't be, I don't want to be all, all drabby, looking all sad. I'm going to worship God. I'm going to go in a happy mood. So God knows I'm mourning, but she's, She's with God, so why be sad? So I put my little future on there, and there's that. And then I wear this um Priatisi. Oh shoot. I'm carrying my Priatisi top handle bag made in Italy. You guys remember this bag? With the Italian bags that were at TJ Maxx. Gorgeous, that's what I'm wearing. And on my feet. Oh, I forgot to bring my perfume. On my feet, I have on shorts. Even we were late for church. We were turning in something, and the lady goes like, oh, I love your shoes. I said, yeah, that's why I was late, because I had a hard time <laughs> trying to put those shoes on. Those are by shoots or shorts or whatever you call them. And that's how I went to church today. And um, I'm smelling like... Valentino, but it's in my room. That's what I sprayed. And then on my hair, I have a lot of um, sh sh Chanel. I almost say Chanel, guys. <laughs> Chanel um, headband. Um, <sighs> this. Hair clips. That's what I want to say. I have a lot of hair clips right here. I had to put these hair clips because, honey, it's so windy. I'm like, I need something to secure this. So, but then again, it became my own little style. And I didn't have this on there. This is how it was. But then when I got home, when we got out of church, the wind was like, huh, what? 
so I found this little this comb clip to hold the hair in the back which is what I'm gonna do when we go out to eat so my hair don't be flying everywhere I don't know though I might change my way I had I don't know to be determined and yeah let's take out my Philippians 4 verse 13 that God is my strength and then I have my Chanel cuff and my stainless steel bracelets and my David Uriman dupe so yeah this is my Sunday oh these earrings the first earrings I got from H&M H&M most of their jewelry was three dollars so this little face was three dollars I was and then I did get a ring I got my F ring I got my my Chanel with crystals Chanel, did I say Chanel? Chanel. <laughs> and then I have this, these rings. Oh my God, you guys. That's what, when I worked for Chanel, they were saying you need to educate your clients, let them know it's not Chanel, it's Chanel. And, um, and you only know, the only people that know that is Chanel, mostly the Persians and the Parisians, when they come in, they go like, I want that Chanel bag that you got. And I'll be like, yes, somebody who knows. But then when American come in, they call her like, oh, do you have this Chanel bag? It's like, you mean the Chanel? Chanel, Chanel, not Chanel. But anyway, a little bit of, maybe we could change the dynamics. I don't think, we all so used to saying Chanel so that me saying all this mess is gonna go from one ear right out the other. They'll be like, Jackie, it's Chanel. We don't give it two hoots. <laughs> Stop trying to educate us. Anyway, guys, so let's continue the vlog as we're going out to eat. The vlog continues. Until next time, peace. Bye-bye. So we're going to eat, guys. I think today we're going to go to this um, seafood place called The Jumper. That's where we're going. So hopefully, they have alcohol. Because if they don't have alcohol, I'm walking right back out. So I need you some drinks. at this menu. Tuna salad, some berry, bottomless mimosas. Oh, they got drinks up in here. Oh, they got bottomless mimosas. So there is alcohol people. Huh? You want to see the menu? You want to see the menu? It's a buffet. Yes, it's a buffet. Can we go look and see what it looks like? Yes, yeah, you're welcome to see and then just let us know if you want to get seen. Right. So wait, you guys have alcohol? We're still serving alcohol, yes. <laughs> Let's go look. It's a buffet, people. Let's go see what it looks like. It's a buffet. That's all you can eat. Let's hope we can eat all we can eat. Oh, it didn't look like you for Father's Day. They made it a buffet. This might be good, babe. We have choices. Oh, I like what I see so far. What's this right here? There's some desserts over here. Huh? Oh, Remy. Okay. Why you say, oh, okay? That, and you say no? No, go ahead. Oh, spaghetti else. This looks like it'll be good. Instead of going to order just one item, you have choices. Huh? I like it. Come on, I don't want to go to Yama. 
we're, we're looking. We got uh, carnitas. Babe, what is this? Ham? Ham and turkey. And turkey, okay. They have a few. They have spaghetti, babe. And oh, wow, let's have some noodles for you. Okay, it's limited, but we shall see what we want out of here. Oh, I like that. Alright, so that's why let's go find a place to sit then we can eat. Where he go? Man, we gotta go. Don't we gotta go pay first? Yeah. You mean what? You don't want it? you don't want this? So needless to say my family wasn't happy with the jumper. They didn't have enough good food in there so we're just gonna go to yard house that's what we're going to do i am having my ace apple I wanted to set us, but she was. What is that? Alright, guys, we just came from eating. You're cheap right now. So, we went to the jumper, but the man of the day did not like the jumper. Being that it's Father's Day, they did a buffet, and they didn't have that much selection. And then they want to charge you $45 per person. For some waffles. For waffles and, <laughs> and yeah, no steak. Turkey. Yeah, waffles and turkey and ham and, and ham, right? Ham, yeah. And some a couple of veggies. It was ridiculous. But you did get bottomless alcohol, which that's that was what I was looking for. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we had to work out of there and go next door, which is the yard, the house, the yard house. We eat there all the time. It's becoming redundant. I wanted to go Tradition. to La Papille Lyon. It's got some French 